is good news for all those Indians who have been wanting to get an immigrant visa to the U.S. Now, in a fresh press release that has been issued by the U.S. Consulate General in Mumbai, it has been announced that all the backlog for visa interviews for immigrant visas has been cleared as of now. So as of now, there is no backlog. Now remember, since the period of COVID, we have seen that the backlog had continued. In fact, many of us have had to wait for two to three years to just get a visa appointment to get our visas in place. Now, after several measures like getting additional staff at several consulates, uh, it has been declared that for immigrant visas, the backlog has been cleared. Now, this announcement has been made by the U.S. Consulate General in Mumbai. This is the place where applications for immigrant visas come from across India. This is the only processing center. What does it mean for all of those who have applied for immigrant visas? Let us now have a word with John Ballard, who's the consulate chief as U.S. Consulate General in Mumbai. Thank you for speaking to CNN News 18. Now that this whole backlog has been cleared, what does it mean for Indians who want to get an immigrant visa to the U.S.? So thank you very much. We are very excited that we have eliminated this wait time. During COVID, it could take up to two years for people to get their interview. Now, when a family member or a loved one in the United States or a company, if you're getting a, an employment-based immigrant visa, they file the petition in the United States. And then once it has been processed and is ready for uh, interview, from the moment we receive it, we're able to schedule your interview within two months. So that's a wait from two years to two months. Exactly. Two months is a standard time. We have to give people time to get their documents and other things together. But we're very excited that now there is no wait for immigrant visas, but we continue to make great strides as well to combat the non-immigrant visa backlog. Yes, that's the next question. In fact, you know, considering that there has been tremendous backlog with respect to the non-immigrant visas as well. Several people who want to visit the U.S. as tourists on several other purposes have now still been waiting for across two years to get their visa appointment alone. How, you know, is there any difference to that wait for Indians here? So we are working on the wait time across Mission India through all of the embassies and consulates. We have increased our staffing. We are very excited that just yesterday we announced that we have processed over 900,000 non-immigrant visas in India alone. And we are very close to hitting our, our initial goal of a million. But don't worry, we'll do far more visas than a million uh, before the year is out. Uh, the wait time is still longer than it should be. We recognize that we're doing everything we can to make it as short as possible to facilitate the travel to the United States. The biggest question that several people asked was how long will it take to streamline this entire process of getting U.S. visas, particularly the non-immigrant visas? We are continually adding new appointments throughout the country. And so I would say that for somebody that has scheduled their appointment well into the future, uh, that if they see an opportunity to prepone, uh, new appointments will continue to be opened up as we have new officers arrive and we continue to find innovative solutions to do remote processing for uh, interview waiver cases. In fact, many people do not even need to come in for an interview right now. And there is no backlog in, in any category except for the first time tourist visitors. But people that are renewing their visas, they can get an appointment very, very soon. With respect to renewal of visas, I heard last time that it was made much easier. Uh, people do not need to come to the consulate for this. Uh, uh, you know, despite uh, the fact that it has been out in public domain, I would still seek a repetition about the procedure for renewals. Absolutely. We have all of that information on our website, but you would submit your documentation and your passport to our visa application uh, centers. 
around the country. And then those get sent to us. We adjudicate the visas and send them back to you. You do not have to come in to see us if you are renewing a visa. That saves you travel around the country. Um, and it also enables us to process more cases more quickly, which in turn helps us to reduce the, that backlog for, for walk-in appointments. Now let me ask you something about the student visas, because you see a large number of Indian students wanting to get a spot in the U.S. universities. After getting their spots, they struggle to get their U.S. visas as well. What is uh, the backlog right now, if any, for student visas, and how does it work? So we don't have a backlog for student visas. Last year, we processed over, uh, we issued over 125,000 students from India alone, uh, the most in the world. And we are also on a record setting pace again this year. So we have found that Indian students that have wanted to, to get their visas to, to go to the United States have in fact been able to do so. So are you saying that uh, the, the other question with respect to student visas, of course, was, you know, whether uh, the understanding that was reached with respect to the H-1B visas, will that be extended to student visas as well, considering that they have to come back for renewal of visas? So right now there is a, uh, the pilot program for H-1B renewals uh, will be uh, at the end of the year. Uh, and that is our first priority because we understand how important it is uh, to reduce the time for H-1Bs to be able to renew their visas. Um, and that's our focus at this time. So good news here for Indians while the backlog for immigrant visa interviews has been cleared. The wait for non-immigrant visas will reduce further is the promise coming in.